The Insane Biology of the Barrel Eye Fish Guys and gals, I'd like to introduce you to this little deep-sea beauty known as the Barrel Eye Fish, also known as the Spook Fish. These creatures are normally found around the tropical or temperature waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Typically, they grow to around 15 centimeters. Although its dome-like head looks like a mini biosphere, it's actually the casing for its upward-facing eyes. Thousands of feet beneath the surface of Monterey Bay of California, scientists recently captured footage of a fish with a bulbous, translucent head and a green orb-like eyes that peer out through its forehead. Why is it rarely seen and live in very deep sea? This bizarre creature is very rarely seen. Researchers have only spotted the species nine times, despite having sent their remotely operated vehicles on more than 5,600 dives in the fish's habitat. At the time, the ROV was cruising at a depth of about 2,132 feet in the Monterey Submarine Canyon. The barrel life first appeared very small out in the blue distance. As a buzz of excitement rippled through the control room, Noels kept the ROV camera in focus while the ROV pilot, Newt Breck, kept the underwater robot pointed at the barrel eye. We all knew that this was likely a once-in-a-lifetime experience since the elusive creature is seen so very rarely. In the light of the ROV, the barrel eye's eyes glowed bright green and could be easily seen through the clear, fluid-filled shield that covers the fish's head. These eyes are incredibly light-sensitive and can be oriented straight up towards the top of the fish's head or straight ahead according to Ambari. Two dark-colored capsules sit in front of the fish's eyes and contain the organs the animal uses to smell. The barrel life fish's habitat ranges from the Bering Sea to Japan and Baja, California. The fish lives in the ocean twilight zone, which lies about 650 to 3300 feet, 200 to 1000 meters. Underwater, specifically, barrel eyes live about 2,000 to 2,600 feet, 600 to 800 meter, beneath the ocean surface, near the depth where the water splunges into complete darkness, according to Embari. Scientists have little sense how many of these gelatinous helmet heads float in the ocean's depths. We have no handle on population size, except in a relative sense, Bruce Robison, an Embari senior scientist, told Life Science in an email. Barrel eyes are less abundant than commonly seen twilight zone fish, such as lanternfish and bristlemouths, and the Embari team encounters barrel eye fish about as often as they do anglerfish, whalefish, and gulpers, which is very rarely seen. Based on past observations by Embari researchers, published in 2008 in the journal Copia, scientists think that the barrel eye fish mostly remains motionless as they wait for unwary prey like zooplankton and jellyfish, to drift overhead. The fish can hover this way thanks to a set of broad, flat fins that extend out from its body. By pointing their verdant eyes straight upward, barrel eyes can spot the silhouettes of their prey from above, and the green pigment in their eyes likely helps filter out sunlight from the ocean surface. Once a barrel eye fish spots a bioluminescent jelly or tiny crustacean floating by, it zooms upward to snag the creature in its mouth while rotating its eyes forward so it can see where it's going. Scientists speculate that M. microstoma may sometimes swipe food from siphonophores, jellyfish-like organisms that cling together in long lines and capture prey in their tentacles. According to a 2009 Mbari video, the barrel eye fish's transparent head shield might protect it against the stinging cells in the siphonophores' tentacles. But again, this is speculation. Most aspects of their natural history remain unknown, and much of what we think we know about them is based on speculation," Robison said. Although M. microstoma was first described in 1939, fishers caught these early specimens in nets that destroyed their transparent head shields. So scientists didn't know about the shields until the 2000s when Mbari scientists saw a barrel eye fish in its natural habitat. As of today, there is still much to learn about the funky fish. On their recent dive, the team avidly watched the M. microstoma specimen until it swam away and then continued their search for jellies and comb jellies of the deep sea. We had no ambition to collect this animal as the aquarium is not adequately set up to care for the poorly understood fish, Noel said. That said, many other bizarre and wondrous creatures from the deep sea will soon be on display at the aquarium, 
In spring 2022, the Monterey Bay Aquarium will open a new exhibition called Into the Deep, Exploring Our Undiscovered Ocean, which will feature all sorts of deep-sea creatures, from giant isopods to sea spiders to blood belly comb jellies, according to the aquarium's website. And like the barrel-eye fish, many of these creatures look like something plucked straight from a sci-fi novel. The fish are named for the shape of their eyes, which look like tubes or barrels. They are directed upward in order to allow the fish to detect prey more easily. Their strange eyes are also capable of seeing in total darkness. These fish are incredibly rare. They have only been a handful of sightings in recent years. The fish was first described in 1939, but little was known about it until recent years. Barrel eye fish are incredibly interesting marine animals that are rarely spotted by human beings. They are also, as all deep dwelling fish are, difficult to keep in captivity. Below, readers can explore the features of the barrel eye fish and what makes it so unusual. Appearance There are small fish that grow to around 6 inches in length. They are named for their barrel shaped eyes. They look like tubes and have the ability to look straight up through their clear heads to keep an eye on the silhouettes of prey and predators above. They can also direct their eyes forward to see the food it's eating. It's only recently that scientists discovered the fish have this capability. The fish are fascinating looking and share a few commonalities with other marine creatures, according to new scientists. Their telescoping eyes are found in all species of barrel eye fish, but the species are not all identical. Their eyes appear as two glowing green orbs seen through their clear heads. These take the place of where another fish's normal eyes would be. The fish have no teeth, a pointed snout, and a dark brown body. Most species are covered in scales. The Dolicopteryx is an exception. Without scales, it's a transparent white color. The Dolicopteryx, Opistoproctus, and Winteria species all have some luminous organs. The fish are finless except for the Dolicopteryx, which has pectoral fins that take on a wing-like appearance. The largest barrel eye fish is the javelin spook fish that grows to 20 inches in length. Most species are under 8 inches long. Habitat these fish are solitary and live at moderate depths, around 2,000 to 2,600 feet, 600 to 800 meters deep. They remain below the limit of where light from the sun can penetrate. They can be found in tropical to temperate Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, according to the Encyclopedia of Ocean Sciences. Diet These unusual fish eat crustaceans, small jellies, siphonophores, and zooplankton. Their eyes are uniquely capable of filtering and interpreting light and spotting their prey from below. Scientists have suggested that the fish may sometimes find food by hovering underneath a siphonophore's tentacles to take the discarded food. Threats Although the fish are rare, they are not considered endangered. They are at threat, as all marine creatures are, from climate change, pollution, coastal erosion, and environmental encroachment. The fish are not hunted commercially and are therefore not a threat from the issues of overfishing, plus they are not caught as bycatch due to the depths they travel at. Reproduction Little is known about the fish's reproductive habits, but scientists believe that they are pelagic spawners. This means that the eggs and sperm are released directly into the water. The former is buoyant and the larvae and the juvenile fish float along with the currents. It's thought that the transparent dome around the eyes serves more than one purpose. First, the clear head allows more light into their big old peepers to enhance the detection of prey. Second, it's also known to protect their eyes from stinging cells. The stinging cells that threaten the barrel eye's eyes can be found on the tentacles of siphonophores from which the barrel eye fish borrow their food. I say borrow, but I totally mean steal. Third, the eyes allow the fish to see in a number of different directions. The coolest bit, they can look straight up through their heads in order to watch for potential prey. In the image, their eyes are the green lenses within the dome. The dark spots that look like eyes, which you can see downwards the front of the head resting just above its cute little mouth, actually act as smell organs. The beautiful shaped binocular-like eyes have adapted to serve them well in the deep ocean. Not only can their eyes detect silhouettes from crustaceans above, they can also differentiate between ambient light and bioluminescent light emitted from other such ocean dwellers. Scientists used to believe that the fish's eyes were stationary, however, now scientists assert that they can direct their eyes forward too. This fish was initially discovered in 1939, and at the time, nothing much was known about them. This was mainly because, 
By the time their bodies were fished from the ocean, the change in pressure would damage their precious transparent noggins. However, much more recently, they've been seen in their natural habitat with a less, well, dead appearance. And what a beautiful little creature this is. I say beautiful, that's quite an intense stare it's got going on.